So why don't we try uploading a tile set now, um, as opposed to just that data set. And I'm going to go back to the bathymetry that we ran into before, because I actually think it's pretty cool. And I might be able to make some kind of cool map out of it. So I'm just going to download it here. And then we'll head over to tile sets. We'll press new tile set, select the file, drag it in there. Hopefully everything is just dandy. Uh, most of the time when you get a shape file like that from a nice site, you're, it's already done. It's part of the hassle of GeoJSONs at times is that you're going to run into formatting uh, issues and you'll have to reformat it or you'll have to deal with little problems. But I'm going to show you how to handle some of the more common ones. And also um, I'm working on some cool tools that hopefully will be able to help with that in the future. Um, okay, so the, all this is uploading. All right, so this is all uploaded now. It will have to go through processing, which tends to take a little while. Okay, so you can see here our uh, upload fully succeeded. It also processed completely, so I'm just going to clear this notification. You do have to clear them. Um, and let's go look at what they have here for the Lake Erie contours. Oh, it looks good, hey? So there's some really nice contour de uh, detail in this that we're going to be able to style really nicely. You can see that there's numbers associated with each depth. Um, Z values, I don't know what all these are. You're often going to not, not really know what these actually are. And you can't see exactly what's in them unless you do some front-end work and you really take a look at what kind of properties are in these. Because um, it's just not available to you right in this interface here. Um, so we'll, let's just briefly add this to a style so that we see how this actually goes. So remember, we, we don't have this as a GeoJSON. It'd probably be a lot of information. It's way too complex to get into a nice-sized GeoJSON. So it's in here as a tile set. So Mapbox just took the geographic information from a shape file, made it, and did this little rendering, and now it's a vector set of basically images that we will be able to add to a style. So here we have um, styles, and you can see I also have a lot of these. I have some just playing around. I also have some that are for my actual site. So these are basically your customized maps that look like maps that you can actually you know, get used to using. So let's go back to the tile set, and I'm just going to click on this again and go add tile set to style. And let's make a new one <coughs> for our course. And let's, uh, since this outdoors map has some contour lines already, why don't we use this one? Uh, but they do have quite a lot of other basic styles that you can use. So these are just going to be like the underlying map that you'll add your data to. And these are all fully customizable. We're going to be going over all the customizations in the way you can do the colors and uh, show or hide different um, text or all kinds of different information in Mapbox. But for this project, let's just grab the outdoors. It just brings me to this kind of confusing map that has a lot of data all over it and it's all dark and it doesn't look anything like the map that I just selected so that's confusing. This thing down here also says this tile set isn't available, isn't visible from your map view. So we're going to talk about what that means and also how to fix that in the next episode more. I don't see it around. So it says it's still not visible from your map view. I believe it should be... which is Lake Erie? This one's Lake Erie. So here we go. And there's the data. Okay, so it just appeared down at a very low zoom. If we zoom out again, it disappears. So, so data is often going to work like that, that it only wants to appear at one data size. You can see it's really nice data. So let's, uh, it's here as a line. Sure, let's add it as a line. Let's just go create layer. Let's not deal with any of these stuff now. Wow, and there it is. Um, there it is right in our map. So we still can't see it above a certain zoom. Uh, but And we will be able to style it. We can change all kinds of stuff about it. But you can see it just loaded right in. Um, so that's pretty cool. So in the next section, we're going to just go back through this and just deal with some of the data problems you may have run into or that you'll probably run into in the process of getting all this stuff together. Uh, and, then we'll, and then in the whole next section, we'll actually start jumping into Mapbox and actually start doing fun stuff with this data and, and to what all this stuff means all over the place. Good job on this one. See you next time.